I will always say it. Homemade anything, I mean anything whatsoever, will always beat store-bought. Why, you might ask, because you get to do this at home with no nonsense added whatsoever. No hidden sugar, no hidden ingredients, no preservatives, friends. Trust me when I say that nothing beats homemade. And in today's episode of our DIY homemade series, we will be making our homemade chicken seasoning. Of course, with no MSG and no nonsense added. If you want to learn, then don't go nowhere, okay? <laughs> Hey my friends, my name is Uzoms the Billionaire and you're absolutely welcome to my channel, Drumrolls. <laughs> friends, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking to watch this particular video. Trust me, you will get value for your time spent here. Yes, you have my word for it. Why? Because every time you come to Uzoms Kitchen, you get to learn something new trust me when i say that if you don't believe it then go watch some of my previous videos okay <laughs> friends if you're new to this page thank you for stopping by kindly click the subscribe button to officially join us on kitchen like this video and yes you want to share to your people let them learn something new as well okay friends if you are not new ah, you guys thank you for always you guys literally have my heart. I am super duper appreciative of every single one of you. Thank you so much for always. Hmm, today's recipe is a banger and you're definitely gonna love it. So let's hop right into the ingredients for today. You already know we are making our homemade chicken seasoning friends so you want to bring out first of all your celery okay celery just go to your abuki that one that is selling something behind your gate eh just asking for all these things he has them he has all of them asking for celery asking for your bell peppers i mean yellow red and green asking for um carrots i also use a little bit of chili pepper that is optional and of course spring onion friends go ahead to buy your dry herbs i use thyme and sage leaf friends it is your kitchen you can add whatever you want but these are the basics for me now what is chicken seasoning without your actual fresh chicken <laughs> this is the difference between homemade and store-bought i'm sure you know by now that when you're making when you're buying store-bought rather your store-bought seasoning cu um, cubes you know already that they don't actually use real chicken friends i hope you know <laughs> yes they will you draw chicken chicken there they will draw beef um and all of that in the in the um parks but the truth is they don't use real chicken at least i don't believe they use real chicken i really don't believe they do okay but this is your kitchen you can make yours in the comfort of your home and believe me when i say it is so easy to make it is not as difficult as you know it sounds or looks you know growing up you would think chicken seasoning is something that is from heaven how, how did they make this thing but now that we've grown we know that we can make all of these things right in the comfort of our home especially when you have um kitchen gadgets to help you you know achieve this my my homemade um chicken seasoning is something i always love to make you know to avoid buying outside and all of that and this video i'm gonna show you how to do it at home so bring out your chicken and you want to debone it friends you can buy this you know from the grocery stores you want to buy you know the boneless chicken you know and just avoid this whole this um, moving the bone and everything which might take some time so you just want to buy it like this and you've cut out all the time i used in doing this 
now there are different ways you can prep your chicken this is a matter of choice okay you can go ahead and boil your chicken okay you can just add onion and salt you know and parboil it let it cook before doing this process right now okay so it is your choice friends please let me say it again you can decide to first cook your chicken down with onion and salt before going ahead to you know use your food processor to blend it or you can even use your oven whichever one you prefer then you now come and you know scatter it friends but here i i went ahead to you know just go ahead to um use my food processor to process it and mash it you know grind it and you know before i go to the next stage so you whichever one you want is okay you can decide to do any one first next step what i'm going to be doing is to bring out my dehydrator i have a dehydrator you know and i'm going to just use it to dehydrate the chicken friends trust me you need to cook it first i actually forgot to do that before going on to do this process you know i, I had <laughs> so please first of all cook your chicken please cook your chicken before bringing it to the dehydrator i completely forgot i don't know how that happened but normally i would cook it down you know for a few you know before going ahead to put it in the dehydrator please don't miss it okay now once you finish cooking it you will now go ahead to use your food processor to grind it and then bring it to the um to your dehydrator to dry out all the liquid content i mean 100 percent um liquid content you want to take everything out if you do not have a professional dehydrator please go ahead and sun dry it but hmm how you want to take the sun dry <laughs> chicken outside i don't know rats might eat it though if you have rats in your area or something or no unless you have a, um, a very secure place to do it another option you can do is to use your oven but then again it would not dehydrate it. The um, oven is not a dehydrator. It's not a professional dehydrator. So that's the cocoa. Okay. You might need to buy a dehydrator. But if not, just keep it under the sun. But just safeguard it, Sha. So that nothing will go and tamper with it or eat it. Okay. Yeah. You can actually do this in the sun. It will just take you like two days. But with my professional dehydrator, it took me basically um, 8 to 12 hours. I can't remember exactly between that so friends whichever one works for you don't um do not um hold yourself back from trying this recipe out because of dehydrator what you do is to first dry it with your oven as much as possible okay first dry it with your oven as much as possible and then um go ahead to now sun dry it okay that way it will be very very crispy dry when putting your chicken on the dehydrator ready to dehydrate all of the liquid from the chicken please first of all add it to a parchment paper you know and then spread it out very well to allow it to dry well but if you put it direct on the dehydrator on the tray of the dehydrator i think it's gonna gum to it i've tried it and you know it was not quite easy bringing it out yeah it will come out but uh it's just better with the parchment paper that's why i would always lay a patch parchment paper you know on it to absorb the liquid and all of that i just love to work with my parchment paper 
whenever I'm dehydrating any food. Hey my newbies, once again thank you so much for joining this particular video and I really hope you are learning something already. This is just to remind you and every other person that is watching that please I need you guys to support Uzom's Kitchen. You might be asking me right now how can we support Uzom's Kitchen. You can support Uzom's Kitchen you know by watching this video of course just like you are doing and subscribing to our channel okay so do well by subscribing to zoom's kitchen like this video as well as our other videos and yes you can share when you share our videos you know to your platforms other people get to see it and watch as well so please kindly share you know and help us to grow friends another way you can really you know support zoom's kitchen is by um you know running our playlist if you go down to my page you're gonna see you know somewhere that is written um playlists if you click on it you're gonna see a couple of our playlists just run it through if you have a nine to five you can run it through it is a silent life is a couple of silent lives okay meaning there's no sound and there's nothing that's showing so you can run it even as you're working or when you're going to bed you can just run it through whenever you play our you know run our playlist oh my god you don't know the amount of support you are giving to us so friends i would really appreciate it if you can run our playlist i i will be so grateful and i'm gonna link one up right now do click the link that is showing to you know watch one of our playlists thank you so much now let's go ahead you know to um prep the other ingredients friends whenever i'm dehydrating i really love to cut all my veggies tiny as tiny as possible that's how i love to you know work with my veggies or anything i really want to dehydrate unless it calls for um whatever i want to dehydrate to be big or still whole if not i just like to cut it slim so that it, it does the work easy and you know faster okay so all i'm just doing right now is to use my food processor to chop it all the veggies i mean every single thing i'm going to be using except the celery of course celery and the other herbs those ones i'll just put it like that and i'll just cut the celery small small okay but the rest of the bell peppers the chili pepper carrots and all of those i am of course like i seeing right now i'm just going to chop it thinly so that the dehydrating process won't take too long you know and all of that friends if you do not have a dehydrator trust me it's okay it is okay the dehydrator just saves you time and you know energy and taking the whole thing outside you know hygiene and all of that but if you don't have it trust me you are good just target when the sun is really hot and take all these things outside but make sure you chop it like this too okay so that the sun really penetrates and dry it up very quick in two days there about all your veggies and everything will be dry okay but with my dehydrator in less than 12 hours i just put it on in the night i went to bed the next day i came back it was dry okay that's how i do my day anytime i want to dehydrate anything whatsoever i just put it there go and sleep the next day by the time i wake up in the morning it is as dry as <laughs> dry and crispy okay so yes that is it another trick is to put it in your oven allow the oven to dry first but the thing about putting the oven oven would change the color most likely okay but in this case it's still perfect it's still fine okay so that's it put in your oven when you bring it out you now take it outside to the sun to now properly do the finishing touches but then again you guys technology has helped us in this life sha <laughs> processes that will take days upon days and upon days you guys just one gadget ah will just take away all of the stress who would have thought that in this life you know you can easily use your food processor you know to chop stuff up you know quickly who would have thought that a time would come when you don't have to pound your yam 
you can just throw it into your food processor and pound the wee <laughs> good who would have thought that there will be a time where there will even be a yam pounder who would have thought really that there will be um a dehydrating machine and all of that you guys technology is good <laughs> it is good okay let me know in the comment section do you like okay in this case kitchen technology do you love um gadgets and all of that do you own them you guys hey i can't even explain to you or begin to tell you how many kitchen gadgets i have i have a lot that i had to convert a full room to kitchen gadgets because they're a lot in fact i don't know i've lost count of how many kitchen gadgets i've given out you know to my people you know I, it's just a lot <laughs> it's just i buy these things in okay one of the perks of being a food content creator and working with brands is that i get to get all of these things free of charge i mean it's not free of charge but at least i'm not paying money it's more like trade by butter you know i give them content and they give me this and pay me on top i mean that's the biggest flex the fact that i don't have to buy butcher meats i don't have to buy any of these most of my kitchen gadgets i don't buy them okay they give it to me to create content and they pay me for it so friends i think that's the biggest flex <laughs> probably that's why i have a lot even when, when before i started signing contract with brands i used to buy them a lot you know so when they became too much i had to start giving them out like a lot i've given out you guys i've given out a lot though hey <laughs> god but i think technology is really good if you have not yet gotten to that drill you guys should get on it buy these things that will help you in the kitchen trust me when i say that imagine having your food processor it can help you chop these veggies if i want to make a sauce now you guys with my um these veggies i can go ahead and do it you know gadgets just makes your life in the kitchen quite easy you know and makes it quick you don't have to spend the whole day or time inside kitchen because you want to cook food no i mean in 2024 you should be you know planning to have your gadgets or if you have thought you've not started having just be planning the the most important ones from your blender to your food processor you know to your air fryers your choppers if all these things trust me they will make your life in the kitchen easy people always ask me who's all how come you spend so much time in the kitchen because you guys believe me when i say i am always in my kitchen is my is my office so i'm always in the kitchen i'm telling you this i'm always in the kitchen and the thing that makes it easy for me is all of these gadgets you know i just put it there and they help me to do the work easily so you guys let me know in the comment section which is your favorite gadget in your kitchen okay <laughs> let me know what you guys think but meanwhile look how beautiful this looks oh my god i love my bell peppers so much ah i love them so much because i mean they just make cooking um super flavorful and you know colorful and just yummy you know i don't know some people don't like it but i don't know why <laughs> this is good for you you know you always hear eat your colors eat your colors these are the colors you are talking about so this is super healthy and nutritious and your body will definitely thank you for it okay now let's hop right into the next um layer next layer will be our chopped spring onion you guys i know you might be seeing some sprinkles of purple cabbage that's because i cut this for my fried rice okay but it was so much i now mix it together with my purple cabbage <laughs> and put it in my fridge so that was that's why you can see just little tiny cuts of purple cabbage So this I'm gonna be you know combining together with my carrot, my shredded carrot. 
I like to do my carrot like this so that I think carrot is one of the um, fruit that takes longer. Is if I beg, is carrot fruit or vegetable? You guys, is carrot a fruit or vegetable? <laughs> okay, so anyways, I'm gonna be adding it together with uh, my spring onion because I didn't want to waste the paper, you know. So I'm just combining it together for them to dry together. Though I'm not mixing them. I'm just going to share one sheet for the both of them. Friends, can you see what's going on here? Can you see the build up of flavor for our chicken seasoning? You cannot tell me that when you use this for your food, it will not bang. It's not possible now, Haba. It's not possible. So you guys can already see the build up of flavor we are intentionally doing right here from our actual chicken that we flavored with um, onion and salt, a little bit of salt to our bell peppers i mean red yellow and green to this carrot and spring onion and no we are not even done we're still gonna layer up some herbs you know to add to this you can't tell me that when you cook with this it won't bang uh -uh. think about it now <laughs> homemade is always better anytime any day now even imagine when you start cooking it with uh, you know maybe you want to make stew and you've added onion to your you know to your oil you've added garlic added all these things and then you now add this chicken seasoning uh -uh. you self think i'm <laughs> next and final layer would be my herb layer okay so i'm just gonna be using a couple of herbs like my dry thyme i just put it for that little zinc okay you can this is personally i think it's very optional because when you're still cooking with your with your food you will still add your time depending on what you're cooking okay so this is very optional i just wanted to you know add that little zinc to it okay so i'm using um thyme i'm also gonna be using sage friends whatever you do even if you don't put thyme and sage please make sure to add parsley oh my god i look for parsley i didn't find i don't know why parsley is quite scarce these days okay so please add your parsley parsley is actually a must okay please don't miss your parsley parsley adds a lot of flavor to your chicken seasoning so please don't miss it If you're having health issues like probably high blood pressure and all of that, you cannot be using normal seasoning cubes though. <laughs> you cannot be using um, a lot of seasoning cubes, believe me. You have to cut, in fact, you have to cut it out totally. And that is why I brought about this particular recipe. 
you want to make your seasoning cubes at home you want to make yours at home it's so important for your health so if there's some some sicknesses that you have that you have to just have a total lifestyle change this is something that you need to get on asap if you're battling with high blood pressure and the lights please do not sleep on this particular recipe now i finally added my um celery covered we are done with everything we're adding here all i'm going to do right now is just to you know plug it and let it dehydrate overnight like i said whenever i want to dehydrate i just put it there overnight to do its thin okay i don't have to come and be checking it or something no i don't have to at all i just put it there and go and sleep <laughs> and by the time i come out in the morning i know that it's usually very dry you know 100 percent dry the way i want it so you can see i set it to um about 12 hours though it didn't take up to that amount of time in general it was eight hours i just did it overnight okay let's watch this was exactly um um 10 hours okay which is still fair though it didn't reach this 10 hours i did it for about eight hours because by the next day i came out i still turned it over myself and it was around um seven almost eight hours thereabouts okay so i'm just gonna turn off my kitchen and i'll see you in the morning this you guys this was around 10 p.m 11 <laughs> and the treasure <laughs> This was the very next morning. I came out, turned it off, and I wanted to put my chicken in the oven to cook. I don't know how I missed it, but friends, like I said earlier on, please, before you put your chicken for dehydration, make sure you have cooked it. Whatever I do, please don't miss it, I beg you, okay? Cook it first. Now, I just took it out, and I'm just going to take it into my oven to, you know, let it get that heat from the oven. Let it cook it. But if you're going to do this, don't leave it because <laughs> it's going to burn. You guys, it's going to burn. It's going to burn so bad. Like, you see what happened to my own. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, I left this thing for how many minutes? Just like um, 15 minutes. And I came back. Thankfully, it was not 100% burnt offering. Even though it was burnt a bit, but I was not happy. Okay? So, please, whatever I do, make sure you do this process before before blending okay before using your food processor make sure you must have um you know put in your oven or even boiled it now this was it <laughs> this was the way it was looking but it was not bad at all it was not bad at all it just gave me that and that smoky flavor okay so this particular batch of chicken seasoning that i made i'm gonna be using it for um foods that require like my chick my smoky jollof rice oh my god I'm going to use this very, very well for my smoky, jo smoky jollof rice a lot. I'm going to be using it very well for it. Here everything was ready and set to be blended. You guys, when I say this thing was crispy, as in it was crispy dry. <laughs> Once you touch it, everything will break. That's how crispy it was. It was like dead dry. And this is exactly what you want to achieve. This is exactly what you want to achieve, okay? Let it be dead dry so that you are getting um, a real seasoning cube, like a real one okay because your normal seasoning cubes they're not wet okay so you don't want them to be wet you need them to be dry so you need that patience if you don't have a dehydrator you need the patience you guys this is the one of the disadvantage this is one of the disadvantages of um dehydrating your food it will just turn to uh i don't know it will just be so slim and tiny even if it filled everywhere it's just going to shrink so much <laughs> so imagine all of that um celery that we use this is what is remaining like it will just shrink so bad so so bad this is what is left of the um spring onion the spring onion is not even bad it's not bad at all now this is also the carrots and i'm gonna be showing you 
<laughs> the veggies, you guys, all that veggie, this is what is remaining. This is what is remaining. <laughs> it is it is a sorry story. Like everything dried. What? It was so tiny, like nothing was literally left. So you guys just know that this will happen. Now this is what we are going to be working with. This is everything we are going to be working with. Now the next process is just to, you know, blend everything up and, uh, you know, combine everything to give you that yummy, yummy burst of flavor. Of course, you want to bring your blender and you're going to be blending this. I wanted to use the small one, but it couldn't contain everything. So I'm just going to remove it and use the bigger cup, you know, it can dry, it can grind dry things as well so there was no problem if you have a dry cup that is big enough you can use it okay unless you want to do it in batches it's also fine so here our chicken is going in our chicken is was actually a lot it was not it was not small at all it was, i think the quantity we regard all the ingredients that was used chicken was the most okay and that's the cocoa that's why you gotta do yours at home that way you're getting the real chicken flavor you're getting the real chicken seasoning in your flavor okay next up i'm gonna be adding my spring onion and every other ingredient that we've already dehydrated the carrot if you want your chicken seasoning to be very vibrant and you know you want it to have that color that um yellowish color reduce the amount of red bell pepper you use and use more of carrot and yellow pepper okay i'm not saying you should not use um, red bell pepper at all no of course you use it but please increase um the yellow bell pepper more okay so if you're gonna be using let me say um five um red bell peppers you want to increase the yellow to like 10 yes like 10 okay now also increase the carrot to maybe 10 sticks as well okay so that's it so that you get a very vibrant you know yellowish um chicken seasoning the way the ones you usually buy would look friends trust me homemade is better ah it's better shall <laughs> homemade everything has really helped me in a lot of ways so please don't sleep on this recipe it will help you and imagine cutting out buying seasoning cubes in your kitchen you guys already know now imagine just making this at home it's so convenient and i mean it saves you money as well and who knows you can even make money if you start selling this you can bottle it up and sell it and make your money After blending, this is what we have. Oh God, I really love to make my chicken seasoning at home. Friends, oh my God, believe me when I say it is so convenient and it's super duper tasty because of the addition of the real chicken. I mean, this is real chicken here with herbs and, you know, different flavors. You can go ahead to add, you know, your dried um onion powder and even garlic but i don't add it because i just feel i'm still gonna cook with it okay so i never ever add garlic and you know 
um onion powder but you can do it it's still not bad at all friends this is it our homemade chicken seasoning it is so good when you try it you will understand what i mean now friends imagine just taking a scoop of this or you know as required the quantity required you know to make your fried rice you guys see the color now you know you know the fried rice will be really nice because this seasoning already has that color you know for fried rice and there's no curry here <laughs> there is no curry there is no curry whatsoever you guys saw the ingredients i used yeah so there's no curry whatsoever but when you use this um you're gonna get that color in your fried rice okay and this um particular um chicken seasoning has this color because of the addition of the herbs you know that green herb helps it to have that color together with the yellow bell pepper and you know um the orange carrots of course carrot is orange <laughs> okay so these two things help to elevate the color when you are dehydrating please do not over dehydrate your vegetables meaning you can actually over dehydrate it, meaning you can leave it there for too long when you leave it there for too long it starts to change color but when you dehydrate it with the required amount of time the color will not change at all the color it will still retain the green color okay that's why this one is still very vibrant and green remember what i said you can actually make it lighter than this color like very very yellow if you add more of the yellow bell pepper and more of the carrots and you know and then again very important do not let your chickens get burnt these two things are so important if you can achieve that then your colors will be so vibrant and you know very very yellow very very yellow okay friends ah, i really hope you've enjoyed watching this i really hope you have value for this particular content i really hope you are happy you watched and came across this particular recipe if you did please let me know in the comment section i really do love to hear from you again if you have questions i'm always here to answer whenever i come on here i'll always check to see if i have questions in the comment section so please go ahead to drop the questions if you have friends remember you can support ozom's kitchen by liking this video by subscribing if you've not subscribed please kindly hit the subscribe button to officially join us okay that is a way you can support us also you can as well you know share to your um platforms let other people see this content and watch and then remember you can watch some of our previous videos and our playlist which i'm gonna link right now please do well to click and watch whenever you watch our playlist and run it through the day trust me you are really supporting us a great deal and i'll forever be appreciative of that friends thank you so much once again i really do appreciate you i love you but jesus loves you most bye <laughs>